I tell you what, one of the greatest treasures of our time is... Well, you have going down to the, the driving range and hitting golf balls at the guy that drives the car that collects the golf balls. Was there any other reason to go to the driving range? I'm going to tell you right now. I can't imagine the guy's life that drives around the golf ball truck that collects the golf balls all day. Can you believe this? He gets up in the morning. Tommy, clean up your socks and put away your jacket. He's like, for Christ's sakes, Mom, I'm 53. And, you know, he opens up the cabinet. What happened to all the Captain Crunch? This type of thing. I don't know what to tell you. There's zero respect happening. All right? He walks through the house like this. It's the sounds of the, ba the, the the golf balls hitting the cage. You can't shake it. Are you kidding me? That's all. I, you know what? That and it, we, you know, we had an AV monitor, and his name was Mike, and he was in charge of like bringing the teachers. First of all, here's the problem with being an AV monitor. Can I have some fucking coffee? All right, because every AV monitor I ever saw, they used to suck the teacher's ass. You know, we got we got your uh, Emerson VCR, okay, and uh, Gold Star TV. That's right, uh, Mister Mister Nelson, right here. Oh, thanks, Jimmy. Good job. Hey, could you plug it in over there? Sure, no problem, Mister Nelson. Get the fuck out of here. AV monitor. On first day, I would have rolled the cart right down the goddamn staircase. Take that. Fucking top load of VCR. I got time for this? Let me tell you something right now. We used to... I say we because I never participated. I would just watch. You, know, you, you ever been like an observer through your whole life? Just you watch things happen? You never really did anything? But what kids used to do is they would wind up their foot almost like uh, winding a grandfather clock. And then they would let it unspin and then they would kick the AV monitor in the, ha in the ass as hard as they could. Oh yeah. The job came with a lot of perks. Oh my God. You know, I look back at it now and I can laugh, but I mean, there was some major league literal ass kicking going on in high school. You kidding me? One time they kicked this kid, uh, Michael Bellinoff. He was like this skinny nerd, you know, and he had sweatpants on and somebody just walked up and kicked him in the ass. And I remember he turned around and he had this look on his face. And I sat, there, I sat there and I looked at him and I was like, poor son of a bitch, you know what I mean? He really didn't deserve that one. Yeah, it was tough back then. I tell you what, it was tough days. You're like, I don't think, I can't see any kids getting kicked in the ass these days. I mean, that would be like, they'd have, we'd have to have like hearings in front of Congress or something if that happened now. Other than that, my wife's got a stomach virus. Oh, yeah, you didn't know? My son got a stomach virus, and I'm like, okay, this is just, uh, you know, when, when somebody starts throwing up in the house, I break, I break out into a cold sweat. Never mind the person vomiting. I'm like, oh, jeez. <laughs> I got to quarantine myself. I got to get the hell away from this. Guys, I can't throw up anymore. Sorry. At this age, throwing up is probably on, like, at, while I'm throwing up, I could ask myself, would I give away my life savings and everything I own to make this stop? And the answer is yes. 
I just can't be throwing up, guys. It's just, oh. So my son's throwing up. I'm like, oh, geez. I'm like, all right, maybe it was something he ate at school or something like that. And then uh, T minus uh, two days later, my wife starts throwing up. I'm like, oh, my God. She's got the immune system of like a dump truck. I, I don't know how to explain it. The woman never gets sick. And then all of a sudden she's throwing up. I'm like, oh, God, I'm screwed. I'm like walking around the house with a target on my on my shirt. So it's it's anybody's game now. I don't know what's going to happen. But as soon as my mouth starts watering, oh, you don't understand. I go into such a downward spiral. And if I actually throw up into the toilet, then it's a, it's a, it's like a 10 minute lay down on the bathroom floor, sweat pouring out, tears, I'm crying. Like, how come somebody's not soothing me? My wife is so cold when I'm sick. You know, my mother, when I would get sick, it was like, oh, my God, I threw up. There was back rubs while I'm throwing up. Oh, out would come the cold compresses on the back of the neck. You kidding me? Then I'd lay down and can I get you this? Can I get you water? You want a little bit of water? You know, can I get you? I don't know. My wife is coming over with eggs Benedict under my nose while I'm throwing up. Like, what the hell's going on here? Where's the love and compassion? I swear to crime luck. This makes me so upset I'm not even using my coffee cup warmer. What's wrong with me? I don't know. Then I found out that uh, Richard Lewis died. That was a bummer. I liked Richard Lewis a lot. Yeah. What's that? Where are you going? What happened? Where are you going? No, I did. He was a... He was a fucking... Fucking funny guy, you know? He really was. I really enjoyed his stuff. <clears throat> ah, I'll tell you what, I made a hell of a coffee this morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know. I went out to a restaurant the other night. And my my stepdaughter's husband, uh, he orders this thing. It comes out. Of, oh, the hell with it. It looked like a human head. It's like, what is this thing? It was like a piece of meat like this round. It looked like it had ears. And it had bones coming out of the bottom like a fucking, like a spinal cord. I was like, what'd you order? A fucking head? He's like, oh, no, this is pork shoulder. I said, never saw a pork shoulder like this before. This is actually the whole shoulder then. I don't know. Is there an ACL hanging somewhere? I said, number one. I don't know. So we're sitting there eating dinner. And, you know, I get a couple Jack and Cokes in me. And I started talking about the murders down at the, uh, down at Soda's Pond over here. I don't know. They found like a. They found like an arm over here, a leg over there. You have no idea. Somebody found a dickhead. They found a dick in there. They were like, oh my God, look at this. It's the microphone. Look, Bob Barker forgot his microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, the price is right. And you're like, oh no, that's a cock. That's a cock and cock head. Anyway, these types of things. Probably not the most appropriate dinner, you know, talk. And by the end of the night, uh, I look over and he had had hardly touched that goddamn food he ate, he ordered. So the person comes over and they're like, would you like a box for that? And I felt like saying, no, I, I don't know about a box. Can you get a coffin over here? Huh? So they bring over this little box like this, little tiny thing. So he starts cutting up. The fucking, uh, the fucking head to pieces to put it in the, in the box. And I was like, hey, listen, I feel like I'm down at Sutter's Pond right now. I thought that was a great joke. Okay. And nobody at the, the table agreed with me. I said, you know what? Fuck them big and small. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them all big and small. How about that one on for size? Yeah. Guys, it's a regular party over here on the BizHead 1000 show. You didn't know? You don't have anything better to do with your life? Huh? 
Huh? Maybe maybe you could uh, sit around and come up with screwy Louis ideas like my wife. Oh my god. The other day, what did she want to do? She wanted to I don't know. The other day she wanted to like, uh, 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 we have to install a new hallway light. I swear to God, I'm ready to dig my own grave. Yeah, so you, you realize when you come home from work, you know, and you work kind of like in the maintenance facilities business, okay? And that's the first thing you hear is about a oh, fucking hallway light. I said, what's going on here? She bought this thing. I don't know. It's like a fucking chandelier. I said, I don't, that's not going to fit there. You're not even going to be able to open the fucking door. You're so negative. I was like, oh. <laughs> don't, uh, you're right. You're right. Let's put it there. That's right. We'll have a chandelier that decapitates you every time you come through the door. Let's do it. Let, you know, I'm done. I'm done even giving my opinion anymore. It's it's worthless. It's worthless. I'm telling you right now. I, I, I feel like cutting my tongue out. Oh, I'd be so happy. I mean, you know, we'll do an abbreviated show. I'd come out here. Good night. And that's it. Show's over. Makes that very easy. And maybe I don't have to wake up at 3 o'clock in the fucking morning. And then, uh, you know, when my wife asks me something, I just go... You know, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll, I'll remove my rib cage too, so my, my, my shoulders can fold in front of me and touch each other while I talk. That's all. A walking vegetable. Hell. Hell. Why don't I uh, fall down a flight of stairs while I'm at it? That way I don't have to walk either. You can throw me in a chair. You push me around. You push around this log of shit. <sighs> it's like people. I don't know what these screwy Louis are thinking. I got this woman. She's like in a... Goddamn 70s, if she's not older than that. And she comes in and she's got, she's, she's got this face out to here. I was like, what is this? Looks like the fucking Phantom of the Opera. She comes charging in the building. I'm like, what happened to you? She's like, oh, she's like, talk like that. Because uh, her face is out to here. Uh, I got a piece of cadaver in my mouth. In my jaw. Because she's getting like dental implants. Like dental implants at 70. What are you talking about? For, for, for who? For what? I don't know. She got a cadaver bone in her head. That's the last thing on earth I'm putting in my head. Fucking cadaver bone. I'd rather be a cadaver than, than, than get teeth implants at 70. You realize there's no fucking bone up there? That's why they gotta put a cadaver bone in there. They look like they try drilling teeth into that old head of yours. It's like drilling into graham cracker fucking crackers. I don't know. Stay out of the dentist. If I'm 70 years old, I'm out of the dentist. Unless I got a screaming pain, then we got an imbecile for that. I had a you remember the guys that growing up, they didn't have health insurance? Boy oh boy, if they didn't have a bottle of ambisol handy on their utility belt. I remember a guy, he had such a bad tooth infection, he was just, we were at the bar drinking, he just kept on cramming Ambisol into his tooth all night. I was like, go to a fucking dentist, pay the money already. Crack your own tooth open, or out of your own head. Listen, you go to Harbor Freight, you get one of those little chisels, 
and you just br take a hammer and bust that tooth out. Enough with the ambisol. Oh, God. Oh. People love to tell you how they do these dopey things. Like, I got this one guy, he's, he's driving up to Connecticut for pizza. He's driving me bananas. He's trying to take me up to Connecticut to get pizza. I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't drive out of state for pizza. Especially when I live in the pizza capital of the world. It's New York, buddy. Hello? Have I got to tell this guy one more time? And then he made the mistake of telling me it's hot oil pizza. I said, what hot oil pizza? What are you talking about? Yeah, what, what, what is this? Wild America out there? Huh? Fucking owls? I don't know, guys. I'm fucking bored out of my mind. Let me be honest with you. What time is it? Oh, God, 17 minutes in. That's a problem. Yeah, you know something? The other day I take this jacket off. And, you know, never mind the fact that it says outdoor jack on it. And I try to convert that into cool when I meet people. It's like I give somebody a handshake. I said, by the way, the, ja the jacket, out it's not outdoor jack like outdoor jacket. It's outdoor jack. Then they turn around and they walk away. No, and then, you know, just in case they didn't know, okay, on the inside here, there's a sticker. No, it's sewn in, right? And it says, latest Vogue weather gear. I'm pretty sure there's no need to write that on the jacket. So there you have it. Other than that, I love the damn thing. I love being cheap now. I swear, I, I, I could buy all my clothes. I bought Lee jeans the other day. Yeah? Yeah. No, you heard me right. Not Levi's. I bought Lee jeans. Like Wranglers. I said, when I bought them, I said, God almighty. I said, okay, the belt covers the back label. Okay, is there any other signage on here that would reveal that they're Lee jeans? No? Okay, we'll give it a shot. They were fucking 40 bucks. I was like, that, that, believe it or not, that's a deal now for jeans. Okay? You want to put a pair of Levi's, they're like 80 bucks. Around here, at least. <coughs> so, like, $40, this just feels great. I put them on. Let me tell you something right now. I don't think I've been so comfortable in my life for the past 30 years. There was like a little bit of ball area. I don't know what I'm wearing. I, I wear American Eagle jeans, okay? Like I'm going to a Taylor Swift concert. I, I don't know why. I've just worn them for a while now. I put on these Lee jeans. I was like, this this was made for a dad. There was like room in the crotch and you could see there was room in the crotch because like the crotch area is like a football field, but it's flat. That's the problem. I don't know. I can't get jeans that give me a good dick bulge. Very important thing. I have jeans that actually go the opposite way. They're concave. Okay? And I look like I have a giant vag in my pants. So, these Lee jeans, I mean, I put them on. It's like super comfortable, man. But, you know, they don't have the, they don't have the cut and, and like the cut of a nice jean. But who the fuck cares at this point? I was like dancing at work. Anyhow, the, the Lee jeans were a big hit. And, uh, you know, other than that. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm shopping at Walmart for now on. I'm done paying money for anything. I got this jacket for $39. It doesn't owe me shit. You kidding me? I could uh, somebody I, I could walk into Nickelodeon Studios and they pour a bucket of slime on me and I'd be like, <laughs> no big deal, thirty nine down the tube. <laughs> you know the thing, the goddamn thing is probably machine washable. So, so the joke's on you. 
basically. I don't know. The only fucking joy I get in my life. I'm trying to teach my dog how to roll down the window in a car. Because he jumps in the car. I tell him, you want to go for one risey? You want to go for one ridey? We go for one ridey? And he goes crazy and he runs back and forth. He, we got a different routine. If he wants to go one walkie, choosy one walkie, one walkie, chan choosy, chan choosy, one walkie, one walkie, chan choosy, chan choosy, one walkie, one walkie, chan choosy, choosy. I say it faster and faster and faster until his heart explodes out of his chest. Okay, the level of excitement. He runs and he does like a, uh, I don't know. It's a fucking, what's, what's that move in wrestling? He runs and he gives me a fucking, I don't know. He's ready to suplex me across the kitchen. That's all I'm telling you. The fucking dog gets so excited. And then I get a little excited. I say, hey, look at him. He's, he's excited for once in his life. And why not? He's been laying in that fucking bed all day. Like nothing to do. Basically what dogs want to do when they go outside is they want to piss up the neighborhood and, 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 and smell for chicks. So it's the only reason why they get up. That's why I could never neuter a dog. I'm not doing it. I don't care what Bob Barker says. You cut the dick off a dog. It's like, why don't I just... That, that's it. That, I'm surprised there's not a, like a, an, a, an enormous rate of suicide among dogs. Poor things are too stupid to kill themselves. Anyhow. Yeah, so I get the, the the little bastard out there. He gets in. I open the door. Okay. He jumps in the car. Immediately on my lap. And I'm trying to teach him how to roll down the window with his pawsy. I say, hey, look. Take the pawsy. I hold his pawsy. I press the button down. He looks at the window. Nice. Like this. Like this. I say, now look at the button here. Down, down. The next thing you know, he's looking everywhere. And that's... Uh, these dogs are so fucking dumb. Can I get a pet octopus? That's what I'm talking about. They got the brain of a six-year-old. That's the other thing. The other night when we went to dinner, they got the guy, they got my my son, my stepson, my stepdaughter's husband. He orders uh he orders octopus. So out it comes. It looks like uh, the bad guy's assistant from Maniac Mansion on the plate. I'm like this is horrendous. And uh, he goes, he keeps on insisting that I try octopus. Like, try the octopus, try the octopus, try the octopus. And it was like, finally I said, you know something? Let me break it down for you, boss man. You know why I don't eat octopus? Because they got the brain of a six-year-old. Okay? So put that in your, in your tutor while you chew it on that, that six-year-old's fucking tentacle. I have the, the utmost respect for octopi. When I went to the Riverhead Aquarium, okay? You want to talk about a dump? Dump aquarium on wheels. And they have an octopus in the tank there. And I watched them for about a half an hour while my wife and son were wandering around aimlessly. Struggling to get out of that tank. He, for a half an hour, he sat there and tried to figure out a way to get out of that tank. And I said, wow, if I'm watching him do this for a half an hour, he's, does, he's done this his eternity in this tank. I was about to go over there and bust the lid off and say, I don't know, grab him. We're right in Riverhead. I mean, there's water close by. I run, I throw him right in. And he's like, wait, wait, I live in fresh water. Kaboosh. And I'm like, I, I don't know. What do I got? All the fucking answers. <laughs> you know something? Do, 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 jerk off before you die like anybody else would. You're so smart. Yeah, these fucking, I'm not eating. So that's it. So enjoy, do me a favor. Enjoy your uh, six-year-old you're eating. How about that? And I have no problem eating animals. You know, I'll eat, I'll eat anything. Steak. Oh, my God, steak. Chicken. I'm not into chicken. I think chicken's a disgusting animal. How about that one on for size? 
You ever eat like a chicken leg? And you're like, you know, I'm eating somebody's fucking uh, ACL and knee meniscus here. It's like I, I, I eat a chick, the end of a chicken bone, and I'm like, boom, the, like the, the cap pops off. I'm like, oh, that's the uh, that's the kneecap. All right, so it turns into anatomy class when I'm trying to eat. There's like sinew and tendon, and you hit something that's like a fucking rubber band. Like, what is that? You're pulling things out of your mouth. Just give me a fucking steak, will you? I'm good with a New York strip, man. All right? I don't need to find a fucking patella tendon while I'm eating my steak. I don't know, man. I was cooking steak the other day. It's like some... I got some ribeyes. I got some ribeyes. I went to the supermarket and I cashed in my 401k and I bought some ribeyes. That's right. Those babies were like, I don't know, it was almost like $1,000 for steak these days. I get the ribeye home, I have a patent pending technique of cooking. That's right, I put the cast iron grill on the stove, heat it up to fucking 450, the grill can't get hot enough. I have a grill, I have a Disgraziato grill. If the thing hits 450 and it just stops. I got three burners under there, hooting. Like, why can't this thing get any hotter? I'm switching back to charcoal. That's it, baby. That's it. You gotta cook. You gotta cook a, a, a fucking a steak under like some severe temperatures. I need 600. I need 600. It's not having it anymore. He's fucking. I'm sitting there with it like like I got a hand crank on the side of my fucking barbecue, trying to get it harder. You know, you think we've made advancements in in like civilization and whatnot, and you realize we just fucked everything up. <laughs> you know, we really did. That's a shame. I've been on a real ice cream kick lately. Been eating I, every time I every time I take a bowl, I, I gotta hide it when I have ice cream. I said, what has my life become? Really? I gotta wait till my wife goes in the shower. And then I I take out the Ben and Jerry's, okay? Cherry Garcia, though. I gotta tell you right now, that's the name of it. Alright? And I pop that son of a bitch into the microwave. Oh, my God. If the microwave wasn't made for melting ice cream, I don't know what the fuck is going on in this world. And I put it in the bowl. So I basically, what, what I used to do is I used to let ice cream sit on the counter for like a half hour until it gets all melty, you know. And then you scoop it out. I, I, can't, I can't stand hot ice cream. I don't, I don't want to put the work in scooping it out. It's just a big pain in the ass. To be honest with you, Put the ice cream out in the, in the driveway in August, okay? And then just hand it to me a liquid. I'll drink it. <laughs> I knew a girl that used to do that. She was trying to put on weight, and she would drink like a quart of ice cream. She'd take ice cream, like I said, put it in the microwave until it was liquid, and she would drink it like a shake. <laughs> I'm like, what an awesome... That's a party, man. <laughs> <laughs> Does it, wouldn't that make fat people mad, right? <laughs> Skinny people can do that kind of shit, bro. Some people have a metabolism. They can pull that shit off. Man, it doesn't make a fat person mad. <laughs> anyway, she didn't put an, uh, she didn't put on much weight at all. Yeah. Uh, anyway, in the other news... Jesus Christ. Fucking really not much going on here today, guys. I don't know if you've, uh, <laughs> you 
you know, if you've realized that by now, just n nothing but rain on my day off. That's right. For the last three weeks of my life. That's right. Rain on your day off. It's such a wonderful thing. It's such a wonderful thing. Yes, you ruined my blessing. <laughs> Any other day, I'm watching this thing about, do you remember how Chinese women would have their feet bound? And this is like before the 1940s, I think. Might have been up to the 1960s. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's true. They would What they would do is they take a, you know, in order, f for some reason, it was a status symbol for Chinese women to have small feet. So they went to the extent where they would take the foot, like what, saw them at six years old. First, they would make them eat uh, red kidney beans for like six months. Or longer than that, it might have been like two years of just eating red kidney beans to make the bones soft. And then they would take the foot and they would bend the toes around. So they touch the bottom of the foot and wrap it like as tight as they can. And eventually what would happen is the toes would mold into the bottom of the foot. I was like, holy shit. I thought they just used to wrap the feet just to keep them from growing. I didn't realize they bent them around. It was excruciatingly painful. And they couldn't walk. It's like people had to carry them around. I was like, this is bananas. This is bananas. So that was a big problem because back then there was like some type of invasion or something like that. And none of these broads could get away. People had to pick. Listen, if there's an invasion, I'm not stopping to pick up some broad with screwy feet. I'm out of there, Jack. So, yeah. But then they would be like married. Like but there was like a thing. Like that's what guys wanted to marry. A woman with bound feet. It was like having a big doll. You have to pick her up everywhere you go. Here you go, honey. Let's go watch Netflix now. Okay. I mean, just when you thought a wife couldn't get any more useless, now you got to carry her around? Holy schmackerel. I ain't having it, man. I would have cut the bands right off. Yeah. <laughs> go wash the dishes. What do you think this is? Your feet bound. It's, it's no different than, listen. It's amazing the the things we do, you know, to for status and, you know, things like tattooing and, and piercings and stuff like that, you know. You love the guy with the ear piercing with the big hoop in it. It's like, all right, what's your thing, guy? You know, you like you like buying your shoes from Journeys at the mall. Is that what it is? Huh? We're going. We're stopping in Hot Topic on the way out. It's like that. That's just like screwy Louis stuff. It's like, come on, stop it already. Really, I, I feel like going up to the guy with the big hoop in it in the ears and being like, "Hey, come on, knock it off." And then you take him out, and then your ears hanging like I don't know a piece of chewing gum. Who needs this shit? Like, really? So you got to keep that in. Imagine when you're a grandfather. You come over, I don't know, you got the World War II vet hat on. And, like, the, the, the shirt that looks like somebody can have a picnic on it. Now, I remember grandfathers always used to wear that, that checkered shirt that looked like a picnic was happening somewhere. You know, and you got the slacks on, okay? Never, it was always slacks and those fucking, those black sneaker shoes with down like this Velcro on them. And you come in with your earlobes hanging down to here. Did you ever see Ward Cleaver? That's one thing about the human body. The ears never stop growing. You're still growing them in the casket. You come in, you're like, hey, everybody. Remember me? And you got the two fucking wrinkled up old fucking twisted pieces of fucking flesh hanging off your ears. Hey. 
Did anybody, anybody want to light up some incense? Like, oh, that's what he's all about, huh? Look, I got the latest copy of Rolling Stone magazine. Like, yeah, and <laughs> we don't have a fireplace. Rolling Stone magazine. <laughs> you ever see these lists they put on like TikTok and and fucking how far are we in here? Yeah, these lists they put on TikTok and, and Instagram, like Rolling Stones, like top top fifty guitarists of all time. You could jump through the screen and strangle the person writing it. Or you supposed to like top uh top frontman of all time. And what you know, listen, I cannot stand pretentious music people. I just can't do it. They're right up there, these hipster scumbag low lives of planet Earth. That's what you got down here at Rolling Stone. I can't take it, man. You got it. You got to grasp reality at some point in your life. People, people at Rolling Stone. Yeah. Just go check out the list. Your jaw will hit the floor. They did top drummers of all time. I almost, I, 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 I gotta show. I gotta, I gotta like uh, destroy my phone. Okay, that's number one. I gotta free myself. I was talking about this the other day. I said maybe we just need to get rid of all, all devices. Break every screen in the house. Imagine how your life would change. My 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 life would change drastically. How would yours? And then I got to see this fucking Joe Biden on TV smiling, eating ice cream. I say, what? This son of a bitch. Let me tell you something right now. If anybody deserved to fucking rot in the fucking deepest depths of hell. All right, for what this guy did to American families. I got I got news for you right now. This guy, this guy, this fucking motherfucker. <laughs> oh shit. Sound I'm fucking tired. Tired and rain. Something about the day before it's gonna rain. My my I, my whole body just tell. I know it's gonna rain the next day. I feel like shit the day before a big rain. I was like, I don't know what's going on here. It's like barometric pressures dropping. It's inflating and inflaming my uh, my knee joints, my elbow joints, every joint in my neck. You know, you just feel it. You're like, oh, it's gonna rain tomorrow. This sucks. I don't need Lloyd Lindsay Young or the Channel 5 weather team, all right, to tell me. I don't need a Doppler radar. Remember that was the big thing in the 1980s when the weatherman came on? I'm like, coming, coming to you through Doppler radar, 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 radar. Like, wow, did you hear that? And, you know, the old guys, they'd get a little taste of that. And yeah, according to the Doppler radar, we're going to have rain tomorrow. You didn't argue with the Doppler radar. So, I don't know. Those fucking Doppler, Doppler satellite radars are probably still flying around there like fucking metal trash cans. They're done. The batteries ran out a long time ago. Now it's going to come slowly into the atmosphere and crash into somebody's house. That would be my luck. I'd get killed by a Doppler radar. Yeah, how did he die? Oh, he got uh, he got hit with a Doppler radar, fell out of the sky. Yeah. What are the chances? The chances are probably you probably have better chances of winning the Powerball five times in a row. That's it. Hmm. Oh, what's going on outside? We got a uh, a break and enter happening in progress. Who 
knows in Copeg. Ladies and gentlemen, what are we doing here today? Can I can I tell you, can I ask you what we're doing here today? I have no idea. I don't have a plan. I'm guilty. I'm exhausted. Okay? So, like, I, we played a little Super Famicom last week, and I gotta tell you, I had a blast. What about the Famicom? Guys, we haven't done 8-bit Nintendi in a while. So let's pull down. Hey, listen, all I gotta tell you is it's the big picture time. It's big picture time. What is this? Oh shit, Capcom. Did I do that? Capcom present, wow, look at this. This has gotta be 92. Oh. What is this, Ghouls and Ghosts? Oh wow. Alright, what is he typing with a machine gun? Oh, uh, what that isn't that the gargoyle from gargoyles? Jesus Christ, what is this? Nice graphics. All right. You know, this really moves nicely. Can I get out of here? All right, we got we got a bail on this. I'm sorry. Holy smack, bro. This is turning into a disaster area. Final fight, USA. Might all... No... Werewolf. You know what? We just got to play something, man. How about some G.I. Joe? We got to play something. I don't think I ever played G.I. Joe on the NES. Look at Capcom doing it big time. 1991. The Joe team attacked and destroyed Cobra Commander's main base on the Uncharted Island in the Atlantic. Unknown to anybody at that time, the island was actually all that remained of a lost continent of Atlantis. Alright, you bored me to death. Uh, this escape seems kind of awesome so far. Oh boy. Guys, the music's on. Oh. No, 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 it's the power up! Yes! Oh, there's the gun. God damn it. 
Later. Shit. Oh, come on. Really? All right, let's go. Let's go. We don't have time for this. Legendary Wings, Lunar Pole, Total Recall, Kitty's Catch, what is that? B Wings. B Wings. Hmm. Is this Irem? Did I read that? Deco Data East, 1986. Woof. Going way back. Oh, wow. Wow, look at this. Hammer. Cannon, I guess. Oh, wow. Nice. That's a big selection of weapons. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Guys, it looks good, but this guy is slow. Oh, I did. I'm doing evasive maneuvers. Okay. Whoever did the music for this did the music for yours. Oh shit! Oh, this destroys bullets too. Damn it. Are you serious? Did I just do that? Wait, no, no. Oh, now we're talking. Wow, the board just goes on forever sideways, huh? This is different. We got ourselves a decent little shooter here. I hate to tell you. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, what do I have it already? Oh, I already have a weapon. They won't give me another one. Oh boy. I'm taking evasive maneuvers. God, I don't know how I survived that. I read your book, Rommel. You go one way, and you go the other. Damn it. Where are they going to put me? Multi. Why? I should have picked Hammer. Oh, this game is cool, man. Look, you're a different shape altogether. That's pretty neat.
Oh, I got my weapon, boys. I got my weapon. I got my death. All right, your game's over. Let's see what else we got here. Gumshoe. No thanks. Uh, what is this? Blue Marlin. Ha 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 ha. It's a fishing game? <laughs> what am I going to say? No? There he is. Hillbilly Jim. Ready? Here we go. We're going to name the boat? Is that it? It's the Orca. Come on. Fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Imagine if people set off fireworks when you went on a fishing trip. Okay. Wow, look at this. Where are we going? Oh, let's go to, let's go to L. Oh, we got fish. Let's start fishing then. Oh, guys, this game is so intuitive. Cast it, bitch. What are you saying? You college boys are all the same. Throw some more chum, chief. Come on. Drive the boat, cocksucker from hell. Try that on for sight. No! Ah, I see you got your rubbers. Oh, we're steering this way now. Okay. How do you cast? Oh, here we go. 50 yards. Do it. Yes, make it happen. What's the matter? We don't have tackle. All right, I, maybe we don't have tackle. Let's go to the deep sea. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, I can hit the timer? Look at that, I can hit the timer. All right, guys, I'm bored out of my mind. Let's see here. What is this? Jib Jabber Jew? Ultimate combat? Ultimate air combat? Oh, I can't right now. What is this? Operation... Secret Storm? Ay, 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 by Color Dreams. Must be awesome. 1991. Operation Secret Storm. Oh boy. Who is this? The, the, the Taliban? Oh shit! There it is, there it is. Baghdad, Basra, Basra. Whoa! A gun? Oh, I got a knife. We're stabbing each other? This is brutal! Wow! What the hell is that? Oh! Fucking kick them off! Get out of here! Guys, this game is insane. Oh boy. Look, they're coming to stab me to death. Come on, I'll call you, you bolt up like we're at Sutter's Pond. I said, come get some more. Let's go, baby. Oh, the play control on this game is fucking good, man. Hold on, let me just stab this guy to death. Did this guy come out of a tent? Oh, drop kick! Kicking him in the face, are you kidding me? 
Oh boy. Oh! What's this bald eagle? I'm on your side, buddy! Watch me bust him with a, with a kick. Ready for this? Right in his face! Alright, 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 I read his book. Oh, come on! I was kicking! No, no. Shit! Here we go, here we go. Come on, I was kicking! I kicked the crap out of this thing! Here we go. Meet me over here, bud. Come on, buddy. Oh, shit! Oh, I got one hit on him. Great. Come across, come across. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I just brought the party over here, baby. Look at him. And just like that, we go to Kuwait. No, wait, where are we going? I don't know where we are. Look, there's a scud. Oh boy. Oh, shit, I took two. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Oh, now I'm shooting? Ah, oh, what did I, I must've got some ammo. All of a sudden I got ammo. I don't know how that happened. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god, this is so frustrating. Oh, yes! Guys, I, this is like a waste of my life right now. All right, turn off, please. Oh, huh. Compliant for once. Guys, do you realize you just tuned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization? And you better believe that. With the 4K face! We'll see you next time. Guys, stay away from the Patreon page because I'm telling you right now, it'll set your tits on fire. All right? We do two shows, okay? On there we do You're the Boss, where you write to me, you insult me, you tell me I'm, I'm an idiot or I'm worthless. That's fine. And then you tell me what game you want me to play. Okay, because you're the boss, and that's what we do. A lot of fun. We played Trojan, Castlevania, a bunch of games. Uh, Gunstar Heroes, you have no idea. It's a blast. And we also have the Advices program, where you write in. Here's the email address right here. You put Advices in the header, and you, turn to, you tell us all your dirty little problems, like this right here. And go home and masturbate. That's something to look forward to. He has taken up learning Arabic language reading the, the Quran book and getting his pilot license. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, get the fuck out of here. Go brush your teeth or something. A woman could be perfectly happy with uh, a guy uh, with a guy with a, with a dick the size of a fucking acorn. Oh my God, I'm glad I'm not that guy. <laughs> That's all guys, write to me. We'll solve all your problems just like Okay. Patreons, thank you for the support. We'll see you next time.